This is BBC World News. I'm Celia Hatton. Our top stories. After four people are freed following a hostage incident at a synagogue in Texas, President Biden calls the incident an act of terror. Novak Djokovic has been deported from Australia after judges rejected the unvaccinated tennis star's appeal to stay in the country. The orders of the court are, one, the amended application be dismissed with costs. Surveillance flights prepare to head to the Pacific island nation of Tonga to assess the damage caused by a volcanic eruption and tsunami. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. We start with some breaking news from the United States. A man who took four people hostage at a synagogue in Texas and held them for 10 hours has been identified as 44-year-old British citizen Malik Faisal Akram. A statement from the FBI's Dallas division says a bureau team will continue to process evidence at the synagogue. At this time, there's no indication that other individuals were involved. The four hostages were freed by police. The hostage taker died at the scene. Before he died, he apparently demanded the release of Afia Siddiqui, a Pakistani scientist sentenced last year in the U.S. to more than 80 years in prison for the attempted murder of U.S. officers in Afghanistan. In the last hour, President Biden gave this reaction to the events in Texas. 